You want to make a Minecraft Bedrock server in 2025, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, you're going to download the Minecraft dedicated server software for Windows. And luckily, this is going to be the second link in the description down below. It will take you here. We are assuming you agree to this EULA, which we do. We can click I agree and then click the now green download button. We want to make sure this is for Windows because we're going to be doing this on Windows. If you're doing this on another platform, well, you could do that. But we're going to be doing it for Windows, so we can go ahead and click download there. It will open this to keep or save the file. 100% safe to do that because this is Minecraft.net. Jang's official website for Minecraft, so you are 100% good to download these files. Now, with that being said, I do want to mention that the server we're starting here is not a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. And by the way, you need a computer to host this server because it is a Windows file. So if you only play on, let's say, your phone or something like that, or your Xbox or whatever for Bedrock Edition, this won't work. You have to have a computer in order to start this server and play on it because the server has to run on a computer. On top of that, it's also only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust, because anyone who gets the IP address to this server can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, as well as figure out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates. So with that being said, what do you do? What if you don't want to worry about having the hardware to host this server? What if you don't have a computer at all and you still want to host a server? What if you just want to get a Bedrock Edition server up and running without having to worry about setting it up and doing all that stuff? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. As you can see, Java and Bedrock support here, and all you would do is go ahead and click get started, select the plan you want, two or four gigabytes here, we'll go ahead and go with the two gigabyte plan, and then here you just want to select Minecraft Bedrock. That's it. That's how easy it is to get your server set up. Continue through the purchase process. You will get this email, account created. Click set up your account. It will take you to a page that looks like this where you'll probably just have one server. I'm going to go ahead and select manage server there. And here you can get your IP address, your port, enter those into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and your server is up and running. You can check all this out at the first link in the description down below. Again, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. And there's even expert live chat support there to help you out should you run into any issues along the way. So feel free to reach out if you do run into any issues. But you really shouldn't. It should just be as easy as copying and pasting your IP and you are good to go. With that being said, if you do want to host a server yourself, we can easily do that. What we want to do is go ahead and minimize our browser and then once we've done that, we want to find the file we downloaded. In my case, that's going to be in my downloads folder. So if we go here to the downloads folder, we will see bedrockserver.zip. If it's not in your downloads folder, it's wherever files typically download for you. Once that's on your desktop, you want to go ahead and right click on it, click on extract all and then click on extract it will then go ahead and well extract all of the stuff within the zip file into its own folder on your desktop this is where all of your minecraft server files and things associated with your server are going to be held so the world behavior packs you install resource packs you install any of that stuff is all in your server folder that is well being created right now. Once the files are extracted, it will open up right like so. We can see this folder here. See, one has a zip, one is just a folder. We can delete the one with the zip. We just need the one with the folder. Now, from here, all you got to do to start your server is double click on this bedrock underscore server dot exe. When you do that, you may be prompted, are you sure you want to open this? If you are, it's 100% okay to do that. You also may be asked if you want to allow public and private networks to access this app. It is crucial that you click allow here because if you don't, you can have issues with Windows firewall and your friends being able to join your server in the future. So if you run into that, you need to go into Windows Defender, Windows Defender Firewall, and enable Minecraft Bedrock Edition server to be able to access that and get into the server that way. With that being said, how do you join this? Well, right now, you can join this and you are the only person in the entire world who can join this server and we're going to do that just really fast to make sure your computer doesn't lag and all that stuff when you join it. So how do you join this? Well, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, with Minecraft open, I would love to say we can join, but we actually can't. And that's because we need to get the even local IP for this server. But that's okay, because we need these numbers in order to port forward later for your friends to be able to join. So in order to get those, go ahead and open up the Start menu and type in CMD. Open up the command prompt. I'm actually going to recommend running this as administrator because not only are we going to be getting our IP information, we're going to be running a little command that will ensure you can join your server later on. So first things first, we want to type in to the command prompt here, IP config, IP C-O-N-F-I-G. Then open up Notepad or uh, get a sticky note somewhere where you can write something down. And then in Notepad, what you want to do is type IPv4 and default gateway. We're going to need both of these numbers. Your IPv4 is right here. As you can see, IPv4 address. In my case, that's 192.168. 
1.2, yours is most likely completely different. That's okay, just go ahead and get the number that's there. For the default gateway, there's this big long string of numbers and letters, and then one under it that's just numbers. We want the one that's just numbers. So let's go ahead and type in 192.168.1.1 for my default gateway. Again, yours may be completely different. It's 100% okay if it is. Go ahead and get that number. Now, like I said, we're not done in command prompt here. That's because we need to copy and paste a code from the description of this video. That code is this. It's a lot, I know, but what this is going to do is allow you to join your server on a lot of Windows machines, Windows 11 updated machines, things like that, you'll run into this issue where it won't allow you to loop back, basically. You're connecting to yourself. So you're taking Minecraft Bedrock and you're connecting back to yourself on your server on your own computer. Because of that, it can cause issues. Running this command fixes that, so when we hit enter, it's going to go ahead and say OK. If it says OK under it, well, it's OK to go ahead and close out of command prompt. Again, that is linked in the description down below, or not even linked, but listed in the description down below. It's also found in the how-to guide here, so Minecraft Bedrock Server how-to.html. If we were to open that up, you can see right here is check isolation, and uh, as you can see, it turns off loopback restrictions, kind of explains it a little bit more there. So if you're kind of sketched out running that, I get it. You can go ahead and grab it here from the Minecraft Bedrock server itself. But with that being said, we can now go ahead and join this server. How are we going to do that? Well, in Minecraft, we want to open up Play and then go to Servers. And then we can add a server at the bottom. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name this our local connection because we're the only people that can join via this IP. And then for the server address, we want to enter in that IPv4 address we got earlier. So in my case, 192.168.1.2. Paste that in, click Save, and it it may not register it. It has in our case here, as you can see, current ping online 0 out of 10. So if we join it in, it will join in on the left-hand side, and we are good to go. We are now online on this server after it generates the world. But if it gets to generating world, loading resources, your, your server is good to go. Just give it a second, and you will join in. There we go, and we are now on this server. We can run around all that stuff. But what if you want your friends to be able to join this server? Well, that's where port forwarding comes in. So let's go ahead and do it. I do want to mention, you don't have to port forward at all. It's simple game hosting. And uh, again, that's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Nevertheless, let's go ahead ahead, close out of Minecraft, and we want to stop this server. To stop your server, always come over here and type stop in the console, hit enter, and it will shut it down properly. We need these numbers, so don't be closing out of those or keep them written down. Don't throw away that sticky note if that's the way you went. And now what we want to do is go ahead and open up our browser. Then in our browser, we want to open up a brand new tab, and up here at the top, we want to type in our default gateway, which is going to be, in my case, 192.168.1.1, but it'll be whatever your default gateway is, and hit enter. Some sort of login box will appear like this. This is going to be your router username and password that's different from your Wi-Fi password and in the description down below we have a link to how to find your router's password it goes through a bunch of different methods here usually by method three or four it has been found and you are good to go sometimes you have to contact your ISP but that's pretty rare let's go ahead and enter in my router's username and password and then we can go over how to port forward now I do want to mention we have this guide in the description which is how to port forward on any router it's worth watching because it goes over a lot of different routers that are out there and how to port forward on all of those different routers for example if your router is not even mentioned in that video still might be worth watching because a lot of router software is very similar. Your router may be similar to a Cisco or a Netgear or an Asus or any other router that's mentioned in that video, but if it's not, no worries, we're still going to be giving you common terms and things like that in this video. First things first, you want to find port forwarding. For me, it's going to be an advanced and then advanced again and then port forwarding slash port triggering. For you, it may be an advanced. It could be an NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding. It could be an apps and gaming. It's very commonly called apps and gaming. It could be in a security tab, a firewall tab, an administration tab, an advanced tab, it could also be in a setup tab, something like that, or like I said, NAT gaming, NAT forwarding, NAT gaming, NAT forwarding. And once you find port forwarding or single port forwarding, you want to go ahead and add a custom service. This may be a plus button in mine's add custom service, or it could just be a big long list of empty boxes. If that's the case, use the first boxes on the list, the first row there. But for me, it's add a custom service. Like I said, for you, it could be add plus, you know, create a port forward, something like that. And then once you're in the section to create your port forward, we're going to be port forwarding for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So for the service name here or the ID, this is going to be something that allows you to know what this is for. So for us, this is Minecraft Bedrock. For protocol, that's going to be TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or the word both. Either way, you want to make sure both TCP and UDP are selected. It could just literally be the word both. Or it could be like both protocols, something like that. But with that being said, if you can't select both, do this twice. Once for TCP, once for UDP, keeping everything else the same. Nevertheless, for anything involving the word port, external ports, internal port, first port, second port, inside port, outside port, doesn't matter what it says. You want to enter in 19. 
132. So for external port, hey, there's the word port 19232. For the internal ports, guess what? 19132, because anytime you see the word port, that's what you want to enter. For your internal IP address, your local IP address, or your IPv4 address, this is going to be, well, the IPv4 address we found earlier. So in my case, 192.168.1.2, you may not be able to enter your IP address like this. Instead, you may have a big long list of basically devices that are connected to your network. If that's the case, go ahead and select your computer that you're starting your server on from that device list. Now at this point, I go ahead and click apply, click save, all that stuff. And for 90% of you, that's going to be the case too. But for some of you, you might have an outsider external IP box listed. Luckily, every single person who's watching this video needs that because that's how your friends are going to join your server. In the description down below, there's a link to here, which is what's your IP address. This shows you all the information someone can get from your IP, which is why it's very, very important to keep this private. But let's go ahead and click this to copy it right like so and once we've done that if you needed it on your router you can go back there and enter it in make sure to save after doing so otherwise we can now join your server and more importantly your friends can now join your server send them the public ip and they'll be able to join right on in assuming the server's online which our server isn't so we want to come in here and start bedrock underscore server.exe to start our server. We also want to go ahead and open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And once we're in game, we can join. Now, not all the time is that going to be possible. Sometimes you won't be able to join your server via your public IP. That's okay because you can always use that local connection. Some internet service providers don't allow you to connect back to yourself. So we're going to go ahead and enter this in here. Mine generally does, so I should be able to. But just in case, we will make sure that things are good. Now we can go ahead and click save. Now you can only see 139. Same thing as the website earlier you can only see 139 that's because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody right so because of that we don't want to post it publicly in this video so 139 is all you can see there go ahead and click save we've now got the public ip this may take a second to locate it's going out to the internet it's coming back to yourself all that stuff but you can also just go ahead and click join server and typically you'll be able to join right on in which we were able to join right on in there you can see daily videos that's me joining in on the left hand side over there now i do want to mention that if your friends can't join via your public ip it's probably that firewall issue we mentioned earlier so earlier in the video you saw me allow minecraft bedrock server into your firewall, your Windows Defender. If you do get prompted with that and you accidentally click cancel or decline or deny or whatever, you will need to go into Windows Defender and allow the Bedrock server. On top of that, some antiviruses can cause issues and sometimes your firewall on your router itself will need to be set up to allow the port forward through. But nevertheless, there you have it. That's how you can play Minecraft Bedrock Edition with your friends by making a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.